All right, let's let's rein it in, Jeremy. Rein it in. Remove a card or uh, obtain a hundred gold. Let's go for the gold. All right, all right. Let's rein it in a little bit. All right. We had a really good start. Some could say a very, very. It's embarrassing that I lost that. Let's just put it that way. Very good start. But, um... Uh, one thing I did notice that I wasn't really getting good block, right? So that's something we could, uh, talk about. Wasn't really getting good block. Also... What else was there? I mean, yeah, I didn't really have AoE. I probably did better when I just... Okay, I should have double tapped the minion. I should try to take care of the minion. I should do that. Because then he has to take care of the minion and... It's probably better. I like terror. I could have got Ghost of the Armor. I think Ghost of the Armor is better, right? So what did I take instead of Ghost of the Armor? I took a... Um... What did I take instead of Ghost of the Armor? I took Disarm. Yeah, but for the boss, I remember saying to myself, Disarm is not as good for this boss. It's good for Act 3... But Ghost Armor is more important for this boss, and I, I I knew it in my gut. I was like, man, I know Disarm is better. For, uh, this Ghostly is better for this fight. And then I ended up taking Disarm, which they didn't do. This wasn't this wasn't it. That's Skewer, Dagger Spray, Omamori, a lot of stuff. Skewer Terror is my jam. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Bullet time. Infinite Blaze, Dagger Spray. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. I shouldn't do that on the silent, yet I always do it. Yet somehow I always do it. Is it more than we bargained for? Hope, hope for the spice? You want to see some tactician? Sexy. Go with your okay, Pandarus. Bum bum. What's up, Slim Shady? The Slim Slim Shady. The slimmest of the shadies. Is it more than? Took a lot of damage, but you know we also took a lot of damage from that event as well. So we're just gonna we're probably gonna get a little rest in, all right? Just do another elite. I'm not worried. Bouncing terror, endless agony. I don't like bouncing flash, guys. That's just my preference. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Mercury hourglass. I'm a huge fan though. Huge fan. I had a feeling it was gonna be this guy, but you know what? This is why we got Fear Pot. Check this out. Neutralize, where you at? Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Oh, that was easy fight, six damage, no problem. Bottle lightning, I did bottle lightning before. I look for the. You should always look for the cards first before you pick bottle lighting. But that was my bad. I'm gonna do blade dance. I'm a. I want to mess around blade dance a little bit more. I, I like this card. I like this card. Dash, my boy, my styling, darling gem. Oh, check this out, baby. Boys. I can't. Never mind. Forget it. 
Never mind. Take it back. Don't check it out. Don't check it out. Lol. Omega lol. Riddle piercing. Riddle, you've been a funny boy. I'm gonna go probably take the piercing. Noxious nightmare. Ooh, we got a bag of prep. It's so good. But there's nightmare. But nightmare's gonna be a curse. Let's be, let's be real. Let's do bag of prep. Fuck it. Maybe noxious. Back in the old me would do uh, noxious fumes. The new me is like bag of prep. So we're gonna try to get a really big uh, skewer here. By big, I mean I'm just gonna terror him. And see what happens. I'm playing loose today. Excuse me. I take offense to that. Alright, so we got 45. 11. What's left over? 34. That's gonna be 66. 66 is a bad number. That's 30 damage. Brings him down to 69. That's a good number. But it's uh, not the number we want. Alright. So we do 84. I'm ballsy. I'm ballsy. In a bag, I've got sunshine. Something, something, I'm happy. Alright, so we're gonna do piercing will. We're gonna do defend, defend. I know this seems crazy, right? But. I'm not gonna neutralize because. If I do that, it does 6 damage, right? And that splits him. So we're gonna go ahead and. Let him hit us. We're gonna get good card draw and then try to get a big skewer here. If not, then what we can do is a dash for 19 or Blade Dance is doing two shifts, right? And each shift is doing, I believe, six, uh, 12. So it's 12 damage in total for one. 12 for one is gonna be not the same value. So let's do this. Boom, boom. Now this is doing nine, but this is gonna be better. All right. It's all right. Merc Mercury Eyeglass is gonna carry this, this, this part right here. Silent discard deck. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that you can't really force. If it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? I've, I've done that in the past, though. Oh, if if you're if you have heart problems when people don't heal, then you're in the wrong channel, my friend. Because I am a non-healing man. It's gonna be 21. He spits at. 24. I only need to do 14 damage. So I can do one strike on this guy. What's the point? Now this could have been really successful if I just got the block. That guy in the back has not stopped attacking. I mean, it's actually disgusting. Okay. We got Adrenaline, Alchemized, Stormer Steel, Unloaded. So we can go for the Sozu, right? This is the Sozu Automatic. If you want to get Sozu, you pick the Alchemized. Adrenaline, Stormer Steel, and we got Unload. Um, Alright, so I might be doing... I might be doing Alchemized or Adrenaline. Woo! Uh... Yeah, I'll come as your adrenaline. I'll do adrenaline. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. We got the wrist blade. Oh, shit. It's happening. We got the wrist blade. Oh, baby. This is going to be some ninja stuff. This is going to be the run because I've, I've been asking, hey, when am I going to get a wrist blade with Kunai Shuriken? For some reason, I feel like this is going to be the run. It's got a feeling. We'll see. Alchemist is really good. Believe me. I'm a number one fan of Alchemist. Ooh, 
Well, I only have three energy, so we're gonna have to get some more defense, guys. Because when you have three energy, it's important that you're, it's important that you're getting value from cards. Whether you get it from after image, free value, right? Whether you're getting it from uh, wrist blade, which makes my neutralized hit like a truck. So that's the kind of stuff we're talking about. We got the deflect. That's the kind of stuff we need in our life. These are the kind of things we need. Yes, we do. That's gonna be 30 damage. Let's see what we got here. That's an after image. I should have known. Should have played that first, huh? It's probably better to not take all this damage to the face, if I'm being honest. I gotta think about the future me. The future me would be like, it wasn't worth the gold. The current me would be like, give me my gold back. You gotta think rationally, my friends. It, sounds, it looks like a game that could be good on Switch. Got my gold and I'm loving it. Down, 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 down. Get my gold back. Deadly flying dagger. So flying is not bad on a deck that needs the energy, right? Now there's another dagger spray which is good AOE for this dude. And there's also deadly poison, which is not bad. Just to get some poison damage, right? But, uh, I don't know if we can afford to squeeze that in there. A second dagger spray feels a little weird. Flying knee might be a little awkward. I might just skip. Although, I do like the deadly poison. Hey Shadow Hunter, welcome. Hope that we can make your wedding a little less boring. You know, you know what my tip is to make the a wedding not bored, boring. Dance, and don't stop dancing. Okay, you can start dan stop dancing during the ceremony. All right, don't don't be weird and dance during the ceremony. But but dance. I love weddings because you know what you gotta focus on the wedding bands. Look at them jam out, rock out, and dance, man. Boom, boom. We got the acrobatics. All out attack, kill hooker. I'm gonna skip. What's up, Amir? How you doing, man? E, I might be doing terror on her. Is that too ambitious? Nah. Why did I do that? That was a really stupid attack. And why am I not attacking the cultists? What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why aren't I attacking the cultists? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? This is probably really stupid. Let's see what happens. Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. Try this at home, baby. Try this at home. It's perfectly fine. Forget what you know. We got Endless Agony Escape Plan. Ooh, I like the Escape Plan because it gives us a little bit more, you know, block for... It's like, that's the kind of value we're talking about, right? Zero cost value. There is zero cost value in Endless Agony, and there's, which works pretty well with Wrist Blade. But, uh... Damn. I don't know here. I don't know. Infinite Blade is something that gives us value. We got Play Dance. As, I think it's between these two. I think we need more block, right? Let's do Escape Plan. Do we need more block? What if we just go against the grain and say we don't need more block? Wait, I just... Let's see what happens here. Note to myself strike, I know, it's gonna suck. But it's nothing worse than having the note to myself ascenders bane that I had that one time. Backstab leg sweep. So leg sweep is super good. I know backstab is like, damn. You telling me I had terror and then I got wrist blade? This is gonna be doing that much damage? Okay, it's probably gonna be doing like what, 18, but another another nine, like 27 damage. 27 damage front first turn. You're killing it. And maybe that's better in this elite fight. If you think about it, if this is the slavers. 
we're loving backstab. Anything but that, we're loving leg sweep because we need that two weekend fat block. But it's, it is expensive. But that's a big backstab. But it's low legs. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna regret not having leg sweep. I'm gonna rest. This might be a uh, this might be a rough fight. So how about this guys? We have Mercury Hourglass and we have Dagger Spray, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Fat damage to this guy's face, fat damage to that guy's face. I'm gonna do dagger spray. Speed up the process of Mercury Hourglass. I'm gonna block. Okay, he's not weakening me. Who gives a crap, right? He's dead next turn anyways. Oh, he does weaken me. My bad. Oh, wait. He's not dead. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright, so we're gonna do probably Dexterity Pie here. But, uh, there's also... I can just do Dexterity Pot. Like, let's say boom, boom. That's not... That's stupid. Boom, boom. Yeah, we'll do Dexterity Pot. Just do boom. Boom, boom. Boom. That's 14. So I can block for one. I can take this hit, block once, and then kill this guy. 14. Or I can just say, Dexterity Pot. That's going to be 10 extra block. That's, uh... 15. Plus, uh... 20, 28 block. 28 block. It's not bad. I'll do it. Oh, I did the math wrong. Huh. That's how you ignore the little minions and attack the big gremlin. All right. So, Infinite Blades is going to give us a lot of value with Wrist Blade every single turn, right? And then there's Blur. But Infinite Blades is probably going to be working better. <clears throat> Except for this girl. This girl is a pain in the butt. Am I right? You're right, Jeremy. You're right. Thank you. I could have had lethal if I was a good boy. If I did my math homework, I would have had lethal. Can we do a second elite? That's the question. Sneaky strike? Do we have discard? Nah. Heel hook? Nah. Like maybe? Nah. Nah. Uh, do we want to do a second elite? That's the question. So. Let's see. We did the Gremlin Leaders. We have either the Slavers or the Book of Stabbing. The Book of Stabbing probably have enough damage to take care of him. But it's, you know, it's still kind of scary. I think, I think we should skip. Apparitions. Let's think about Apparitions. I feel like it's a no. I feel like it's a no. Okay. So, Infinite Blade's innate, right? That's gonna help a lot. Get jaxed? I mean, we could do get jaxed, and then that could be pretty good, guys, with skewer and stuff. I don't usually get jaxed, but, you know, let's see what happens. Oh, if I didn't get jaxed, I would have after image. You just fucked up, Jeremy. You just fucked up. Because after image gives you the value you look for with Infinite Blades and Blade Dance, buddy, because you don't have block. You just fucked up. This is why you don't do drugs, kids. You don't take the jacks on the corner, because then you don't get the school lunch and after image. What? Just think about it. <clears throat> okay, let's do, um, let's do this. Fuck, that sucks. 
Fuck. I mean, I could lose my gold. I could lose my gold here. Well, backstab kind of just kills this guy, right? I don't want. I want to use. See, dash kills him, but I want to kind of find like. Fuck! I want to play infinite blades. This is really greedy. That was so greedy. I can't play infinite blades now. Yeah. I'm doing what? What am I doing, Beta Chess? What are you talking about? Uh, we'll do we'll do footwork here. Uh, we can rest or we can upgrade footwork. I think upgrading footwork is probably better. Although resting might... Yeah, we'll do... We'll rest. What's up, Darku? What am I... What am I doing, uh... Beta, what are you talking about? talking about oh I'm throwing it headphones and they doubted me they said I couldn't do it I said watch me I'm gonna do it I don't see the black headphones Alright, so we got Stormer Steel with Wrist Blade. Yes, please. Bubble Choker's gonna mess me up. I think we want the energy, of course. We take Curse Key. Uh oh, got Dono and Deco. We we're already struggling a little bit with our single tar. I mean, our double, uh, double, our AoE. And not to mention, we have Terror, which is a big part of our damage. And they have artifacts, which stops the Terror. Now, we do stop one of the uh, artifacts, and we can probably do neutralize with the other one. Um. I'm hoping we get some good cards along the way to make this a nice and easy fight. Let's roll. Imagine Choker with this deck. Am I alright? So that guy's dead next turn to the Mercury Hourglass. Can we all just give a big warm hug to Mercury Hourglass? Just a nice big warm hug to Mercury Hourglass. Just a nice, big skewer to the face. Mercury Hourglass. Double Terror. You know what? It's actually pretty good because 
There's Dona and there's Deca. We're gonna get two of the terrors. Fighting. Jeremiah fighting! Yeah! Should I do it? I don't know. I can kill this guy next turn. Or I can do terror on this guy. And say, you know what? It's been working for me in the past. We'll make it work again. That's... That's lethal. How about this? We do this. Which allows us to do this for three only. And I can do things like infinite blades. Or I can block and do this for three only. So I can like block and then do this for three. Or I can draw. Shit, I can get jaxed. If I get jaxed, that's making me do... I can draw again with jaxed. And what are we looking for if we get jaxed? Dagger spray? Dash? Let's see. Dash? Okay, dash is much better. I need Stormer Steel. You guys are crazy. Oh, baby, we can kill both of them. Let's do that one. This is it more than we bargained for. Tinksha? Oh, yes. Back to the dodge and roll of Crippling Cloud. So Crippling Cloud is a good way to get rid of these guys' artifacts. And it does a double weaken, which this is really good, right? Like, the ability to get a weaken on both Dono and Deca is really nice. Or just to clear the artifacts. This is a good way to clear artifacts. There's backflip, which is also really nice. I like the card draw, so we're going to do backflip. Although, dodge and roll with footwork is pretty good. So we're going to do dodge and roll, actually. And that backstab is juicy. That's not good enough, unfortunately. She told me it wasn't good enough. I had to simply agree. Do you want to do jacks? I think it's not worth it, right? Like, I don't need it. Do jacks, baby. Where were you, Malarbos, huh? Can't be missing these things. We got Noxious Fumes, which is a good way to strip the artifacts. We got Daddy Die for AoE. Strip artifacts from Noxious Fumes, we could um, just remove a strike. Maybe get a no knock. No, I don't think we don't want Noxious. We'll take another backflip, maybe. Mind Blast. Mind Blast innate with the backstab we already have, plus Terror, is doing a truckload of damage. And I mean a truckload. Oh, I have Curse Key. Fuck. Guys, I want you guys to see my opening turn. I want you guys to see this opening turn, alright? We have two terrors for this reason exactly, okay? They doubted it, I told them they shouldn't. But they did it anyways. I'm taking a lot of damage though, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, I'm taking damage here. I got no, no defense. I need too much offense. We need more defense. That was bad. I'm gonna have to rest now. This is gonna be such a pain in the butt. It's gonna be such a pain in the butt, guys. I'm not looking forward to this fight because I didn't take Noxious Fumes. And I, I should have thought about this fight because Noxious Fumes would have helped out immensely.
Oh my god. Oh my god. This is such a stupid fight. I gotta be patient here. I mean, technically, I have Mercury Hourglass. So I can just win by Mercury Hourglass. I just realized. Cloak and Dagger. Yes. Yes, please. I, I had to skip this, right? Because I don't want to get any uh, more curses. Footwork, I think it's pretty good. Do you do an elite? So it could be Nemesis, Giant Head, or the uh, the double double pushup bros. I feel like, oh, uh, what's up, Fast? If I do it, I feel like the double pushup bros, we can handle the easiest. Nemesis, I think we can handle no problem either. But uh, the Giant Head, I'm a little worried about. I think Terror wrecks the. I think the wreck with the Giant Head would be a little bit difficult. Hello. Hello, matey. I've got a few ships for you. Are you willing to uh, take a list home? Ah, oh, come on, dude. Come on. Let me hit you in the face. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm a nice guy. That's gonna be 60 damage. Tools of the trade is a way to get some discard and some draw to activate Tinksha, but there's play dance. Receive a rare relic, upgrade all cards, heal the full. Upgrading all cards, I no longer heal. I don't mind no longer healing. How would upgrading all cards, what would that do for me? I would get some value out of it. I would upgrade my blade dances, right? Upgrade the deflect, upgrade my defense. I would upgrade the survivor. I would up the upgrades would be nice, to be honest. Versus a rare relic, I think I might take the upgrades. I can no longer heal. Now, if I happen to get wrecked in these next two fights, then I'm immediately regretting that decision. I think upgrading all cards would be good. I am awake. I don't want to take damage. We got blinds. Oh, baby. Blind, 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 blind. Yes. That makes terror so good, actually. Oh, we got... We got, oh man, guys, we got Storm of Steel right now. I wonder if this is actually going to be lethal. I have a feeling it's going to be. I just have a feeling. Oh my god. I can't believe I doubted these upgrades. Another deflects Piercing Whale. Piercing was really good in this fight. I feel like you can't go wrong. Upgrade the blinds. Oh my god. I think we got the deck, but it takes. I think we have what it takes. Blind, which means we can get the terror. We got the jacks for the card draw. Terror this guy. Mind blast. Backstab. Dagger spray. Dash. Dodge and roll. Now we want to play infinite blade, so we're gonna take the hit. Alright? Boom. Terror this man. Boom. Let's see what we get. That's a lot of damage. Although, Storm of Steel is pretty good, too. This is doing Tinksha plus everything else. I wonder how much Storm of Steel is doing, actually. Whatever.
what's the value of, of like, front-loaded damage, guys? Just, like, who needs to play slow when you can just do so much damage that... I mean, it's just great. Imagine if I had a finisher or something. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now that's how you play aggressive silent, baby. Hell yeah. Rich played. I like it.